Hello everyone. Uh, happy Wednesday. Wednesday is the hump day. Uh, so well done everyone. We've made it to Wednesday. It's downhill from here, uh, ready for another weekend. Um, I'm going to start with a few uh, shout outs of work that I've received. I've had loads. Thank you so, so much um, parents if you're watching for trying to uh, get work onto the portfolio. I know it's a bit of a faff but it just means I get so many messages in one day, um, it's really hard for me to just get back to everyone with um, comments on the work and I'm missing messages. So it's just trying to um, develop a bit more of a system so it's just a bit clearer for the future. So um, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you children for all your lovely work. Um, I've been accepting all of your uh, work on the portfolios and I've been liking and commenting as well. So it's really nice and easy so I can give you some feedback. So thank you for that. Um, I have had a massive um, upload from Rosalie. I particularly liked uh, Rosalie's PSHE work and her Claris Cliff uh, fact file and she did some art drawings which were also really beautiful. Um, Mia Rule did some really beautiful drawing as well and um, I think I put a comment or sent a uh, comment back on your uh, landscape picture. Um, hope you've been so busy. Um, I had some great science work from you today so well done for that. Um, I had some really lovely work from Syrah which was some science and um, I think I've had some Romans work from you as well, which was the day before, which was also really good. Um, Robin, handwriting from you, amazing. Really keep up that hard work because that makes all the difference when you come back to school. Now, I have got a piece of writing that I wanted to share with everyone. Um, and this is Tian's writing on titanium. As a teacher, I've seen many naughty children cause trouble, but today was different. I cannot explain properly, but one boy seems to have caused more destruction than possible. It was like he had supernatural powers. I managed to get on the phone with the police. I saw the boy walk past my office door, so I shut it quickly. I felt so scared. After the boy had walked out of the building, I ran to the policeman who had driven up. I felt quite relieved and told him the story. Suddenly, I saw the boy cycle away and pointed to show the policeman. I heard on the news that the police had found floating teddies in his house and he'd escaped to the woods. At night, the police tracked him down, but again, something strange happened. He caused another explosion. Really good, Tian. I really liked that, um, so I just wanted to be able to share that with everyone. Um, I will move on now just to give you your answers for question one to three of your comprehension. So you've got a really nice comprehension today on Peter Pan. Now, it is... Um, just good to know there are some words with little stars next to them if you look at the bottom those words are defined for you because it is written in language again that might be a little bit unfamiliar um, so question one what happens to Michael in lines one to two so there's a couple of words in here that are starred so I need to look at those so that I understand what it means and it says they were on their beds and gallant which means brave Michael let go first he did not quite mean to let go, but he did. And immediately he was born across the room. Now, born means carried across the room. So uh, I can take that to mean if he was born across the room, I also can have a look at the next line. It says, I flew, he screamed while still in midair. So what happens to Michael in line one to two? He flies across the room. Um, who is better at flying, Peter Pan or the other children? How can you tell? So I need to give one mark for saying who is better at flying and two marks is um, a piece of evidence to go with it. So I'm looking for something about Peter. The question is about Peter. So I'm going to look for his name. When I use my skimming and scanning, I get to line 10. It says they were not nearly so elegant as Peter. They could not help kicking a little, but their heads were bobbing against the ceiling and there is al almost nothing so delicious as that. So. Uh, who's better at flying? Peter is better at flying because it says the others were not nearly so elegant as him and they couldn't help kicking a little. Um, question three, which adjective does Wendy use to describe flyings in lines 10 to 15? So I'm going to have a look down here and I'm again skimming and scanning looking for Wendy. Um, it says Peter gave Wendy a hand at first but had to desist. Tink was so indignant. 
up and down they went and round and round. Heavenly was Wendy's word. Uh, so the word that she used to describe flying was heavenly. That was her word, that was her adjective. Um, fantastic. Uh, hopefully you all um, had a good go at that and I will give you the answers to question four, five, six and seven uh, tomorrow. Um, your maths work today is comparing numbers. Um, now I'm not going to go into that in too much detail uh, because I think it will be okay. However, I do just want to remind you of, just hold there one second. Sorry everyone, that's me um, not being too organised. Um, I do just want to remind you of um, thinking about these. So these, the deans um, are really good, or the base 10, um, of remembering the value of each digit. So we have thousands, hundreds, tens, and, oh, have I got any ones right at the bottom here? Yes, I do, and ones. Um, so I would like you to have a go at um, the next page on comparing and ordering numbers. And then um, I would like you to, there's a bit of a challenge for you if you want to um, write it up, send me a message, write it, take a picture, pop it on your portfolio. Um, answer the question, when ordering four digit numbers, which digit is the most important and why. Um, so have a go at that and see if you can find any exceptions to that rule as well. Um, so that's your challenge for today. Well done again everyone, you're working really hard, um, we're already nearly at the end of week two, so fingers crossed um, we won't be doing this for much longer, but you're doing so well, I'm really really proud of you, we're all missing you lots, uh, it's not the same not having everybody in school. Um, and hopefully I'll see lots of you on Thursday for the book swap. Okay, thank you everyone. Bye.